Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a clutch clamp in Kitia V5. So this is being requested by one of my subscribers and uh, this what you can see here is the end result of the design. That's a clutch clamp and left side you can see the drawing and this is the second part of the tutorial. So I highly recommend that you come back to this particular tutorial after watching the first part of it. You can go to my video list and find it out. So let me come here and let's uh, come to the second step of the design is that is uh, creating this portion here. So analyze this portion here and over here. So this is the top view of it and this is a side view. So you can see the cylindrical hollow portion is over here and it's, it is in hatched. So come to the top view once again as we have done before. Click on the sketch and go ahead and design this sketch over here so I'll just create a line like this I'll select this line and I'll do mirroring for it and project this and join this particular portion here alright alright now just uh, trim this portion here okay and you need to use the uh, edge fillet so operation corner use the corner option and give a corner here and uh, again corner somewhere here alright now you can see that the corner over there is radius 30 so select the dimensioning tool and give it as 30 oh my god I got messed up so we're not supposed to really do that I'll just come back and uh, I'll give the corner once again so before giving the corner let me just uh, dimension some more as you can see this is the portion we're creating so just click here you know this distance is what is that distance that is uh, 199 minus 32 okay and this particular portion here is 32 so just give here as 32 and this angle is 7 degrees alright now just go for the corner option and give a small corner and change its radius to 30 you can either uh, go for the mirror option or you can give a brand new alright now select this and go for dotted lines and create a circle here and Now just erase this portion. So you got this particular surface here. Now just come out of the sketch and you can see that this portion remains. So just come into the sketch once again and uh, actually trim this out. Come out of the sketch and do the padding. So the padding is 16 so 8 on both sides. So we got this portion here, the next thing is to do the holes and we got all the dimensions for that. So if you have any doubts or qualifications, please feel free to write to me at kitiad.prototuser at gmail.com and you can also comment on my uh, below the video and you can 
uh, write to me uh, your, your doubts etc uh, if you have any reference files you can always uh, send it, send uh, send that across to me and I'll look into it and I'll be uh, getting back to you as soon as I find time and that's all for this particular part of the tutorial stay tuned guys and thank you so much for watching